One of the biggest advantages of Elementor Pro is that you are able to design your custom header and footer on your WordPress website. But how about if you can create custom header and footer and even custom section blocks by just using Elementor free version and an additional free plugin? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to AnkitSharma.tv where we try to simplify web for bloggers, startups and entrepreneurs like you and me. So if you are new here, consider subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. Everybody loves Elementor Pro for its ability to create custom headers and footers. And that's just one of the superpowers of Elementor Pro. There is a hell lot we can do with the plugin. But one of the very famous and the one of the most used feature of Elementor Pro is that when you are able to create custom headers and footers on your website. But today I'm going to show you how you can create custom headers and footers on your WordPress website by just using free version of Elementor and an additional plugin. So as you can see right now I am in my WordPress dashboard and I only have Elementor free version. So let's go ahead and add one more plugin which is of course free and we are looking for a plugin from the team Astra and this is the plugin we are looking for it's called Elementor header footer and blocks template and this is made by Brainstorm Force which is the company behind Astra theme so let's go ahead and install that all right once the installation is done let's click on activate all right so now we have the Elementor free version and we also have Elementor header footer and blocks and just to let you know, I'm using Elementor Hello theme, which is just a blank theme. And this is just a very bl blank and a basic home page. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this free plugin. So if we go to appearance and here we can see we have a new option says header, footer and blocks. So let's go to there. So here we go ahead and click on add new. So we give this template a name as maybe site header. And from here, we need to choose what type of template is it. So as we are making a header template, so we will choose header. And we have some other options. It says footer. We can also design footer, same way we design our header. And there is also an option, it says before footer. So whatever we design using this option, it will be placed just above our footer. We also have an option says custom block. So we can design our own block and everything right now is happening in the free Elementor version. For this one, we are just going with header. And once again, very similar option like Elementor Pro, where it says display option. We need to select where we want to show our header. So we can choose entire site, all singulars or on all the archive pages, or maybe we can choose any option as per requirement. So right now we are going with entire site and some additional option here are you can also define the user role who will see this menu. And one very important option here is enable layout for Elementor canvas template. Normally when we choose Elementor canvas, we just get a blank page, but but when we choose this plugin, we have an option to choose a menu on our Elementor canvas pages as well, which is very rare, but it's good to have an option. All right. Once we are done here, we go ahead and publish that. All right. So once we publish that, we need to go ahead and edit this with Elementor. All right. So now we are in the editor of Elementor. So to create our custom header, we will be going with the two column layout and let's make it a little bit small. We'll add an image here. Now the reason we are adding image because we are only using Elementor free version. So we cannot have a widget site logo. All right, so we go ahead and make it to full. Let's choose our logo image. Okay, we'll choose this one. So let's go ahead and link it to our home page. We, as we are using Elementor free version, we cannot once again choose dynamic tags. So what we will do is we will just choose the link of our website. Right now I'm just using the local server. So I'll just put this one here. So now we have the logo with the link to the home page. So let's go ahead and add the menu here. 
Okay, once again, we are using free version of Elementor, which do not have navigation widget. So if you go ahead and search for menu, you can see that nav menu from Elementor is locked because we are using a free version. But with this plugin, they made a special widget known as navigation menu, which you can use. So let's go ahead and try that. We'll drop the menu here. And make sure you have a menu in the WordPress backend to show here. So I have already created one for me. So here it is. It looks almost like Elementor Pro menu widget. So let's go ahead and align it a little bit. So we go ahead and click on this entire section. The vertical align will be middle. And for this menu, and we will go to layout and we'll align this menu to the extreme right or maybe in the middle and for the style all right so let's go back to the section and here we will add a little bit of background maybe a very little gray shade and we'll also add a little bit of border at the bottom and here we will add one pixel border and color once again very light now let's go ahead and customize this header for our mobile view so we click on the section we go ahead and switch to mobile view and we have the logo in the middle and below that we have our hamburger icon maybe we can go ahead and create a 50 percent width here and maybe we can add a 50% width for this one. If you go to the layout section and scroll down, and here, if you see, we have an option to change the hamburger image to something else. If I want, I can just go ahead and change this icon to maybe some drop arrow, or maybe you can upload your own SVG icon, so you can make it look more personalized as per your website requirement. So let's go back to our desktop. All right, let's go ahead and click on update. And we have already selected the condition where this header will be visible. So right now the header is done. Let's go ahead and see how it's look on the front end. So we will refresh the front end. So we have our logo on the left and our menu on the right. And we now have a custom header by just using Elementor free version. So let's go ahead and click on about us page. Now, as you can see, we have a print header on every page. So now with that free Elementor Pro, we can create our custom header and footer. We can go back to the home page of the website. Now, in the same way, we can design our website footer as well. But I'll not cover that in this video because it's the same process. We can design anything once we start editing in the Elementor editor. But the point here is by just using Elementor free version, we can still design our headers and footers and even section blocks. So if you want to know more about Elementor Pro, make sure you check the link in the description below and you will be surprised to see the superpowers of Elementor Theme Builder. And if you want to learn how to use Elementor and how you can create your WordPress website using Elementor, I have a special course that I have designed for beginners. So you can go ahead and check the i button on above or I will also link that in the description below. So you can go ahead and check that. So I hope you find this video helpful. If it is, then make sure you give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.